I was waking up and I was, every day felt fake to me because I was pretending to be this girl and it didn't ever feel quite right. For the past two years, Len Black has been injecting himself with testosterone, T for short, in his transition to become a man. Len was born a woman. I bit my tongue, tried to keep you from the satisfaction of my cries, never uttered any lies. Telepathically, did you still hear me screaming? So there's a lot of challenges for trans people. I think it's a really tough path. The way we think about gender in this society is that there's only two choices and you're, whatever you're called when you're born is what you are. And so... Questioning that gender binary in any way really shakes the foundation of, of how people see you, how people respond to you. Len knew that there was something different about himself prior to transitioning. His identity didn't click until he attended an LGBTQ meeting. Like they asked me what my pronouns were and what my chosen, like my chosen name was, and I was just kind of floored for a minute, and it took me a little bit to figure it out, but then it, it just kind of all started to fall together and I was like, oh my God, this is totally me. He said for the longest time, he felt trapped over who he was until meeting other people in this group. Len began transition soon after. It, it felt really like, like I was being set free um, because I was confined by how people were perceiving me and how people expected me to act. And when I was finally able to sort of start changing that about me and be more comfortable in myself, um, it felt like, like all of a sudden the world wasn't so terribly heavy. Yeah, it's really gross. So wait, then when they find Experts it, say that trans people are everywhere. People just what? don't know that they are. It's sort of the same thing as um, what's happened with gay people over the last 10, 20 years, is that now every, most people know a gay person. And so you kind of see like, oh, they're just kind of a normal person and they just happen to be gay. And I think the same thing will happen as more like young people are coming out and transitioning more, um, you know, more visibly and people start to see that it's just another way of being human. <laughs> his close friends supported him during his transition. His family didn't. You can't live life accordingly to other people, so if that's what makes him happy, go ahead. All I can do is respect that. In an ideal world, I feel like we would just have more flexibility around gender. and We would be allowed to kind of express ourselves however we wanted, um, so that when, you know, little kids are showing behaviors that aren't gender typical, that it wouldn't be a big deal. Um, but I think that that would be the answer, is if everybody just be who they want to be. The average person doesn't think twice when deciding which gender-specific bathroom to use in public. But to lend, this can cause anxiety. Generally try and use the gender-neutral handicapped bathrooms when I can, because I don't, that or I'll hold it, because I don't feel like comfortable in either the women's bathroom or the men's bathroom. After finding comfort in his own skin and who he was, Len realized that there was more than one definition of what makes a man. So the way I see it is what makes a man and what makes a woman is really just how they feel. Like, so like not all men are like, you know, oh yeah, I'm gonna go to the gym every day and work out, cause I'm not, I'm not one of those guys. Um, what really makes a man is whether or not he feels like he's a man. Budamchad Puong, NCC News.